Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself, and I want to discuss my new video of my Guilty Pleasure movies. <sighs> For this one, I will discuss my top five Guilty Pleasure movies of 1999. <laughs> now, that was a good year. <laughs> year for me. I had such an amazing amazing time when I was when I was around that around that year. <laughs> yeah. I saw really good movies. I didn't know know if they were good or bad back in the day. But now I do now. Okay, here Here's number five, Superstar. Oh my God, that really takes me back. I really did love Superstar. I mean, it had a great cast though, though even though it was it was based on an SNL skit. I didn't know it was it was based on it was based on an SNL skit before. Or, I really did love it. I really did love the lead character, Mary Catherine. Catherine Gallagher, her play by Molly Shannon, <laughs> and, and the other co-stars, Will Friedle, Dell as the love interest. Well, not exactly as the love interest, but more like Mary's crush. I really did like it how she did that cat fight with Avion. <laughs> that was both funny and and that and badass. I really did like when she get a when she did a karate kick on her ass. <laughs> and I did like the competition scene. <laughs> how sh how Mary and her friends did did, did that crazy dance group. Group and and won. Uh, good times though. Okay, here is number four, and <laughs> and this was definitely a definitely a guilty one, one for me. It's drop dead gorgeous. Oh, it was. I really did love it ever since I saw the saw the trailers of it. <laughs> Sometimes I always did love 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 beauty pageants on only in movies, but not in real life. But this one I do love. It did had it did had the greatest greatest acting ladies ladies of all time. Time Ellen Barkin and oh oh oh, oh my god, I don't know. Oh Kristen Dunst Dance. Oh my god. Oh my god, I keep forgetting who was in who was in it. Oh oh Chris Christy Alley. Oh 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 Alice and Jenny. Oh 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 and Denise Richards. Oh fine, fine, now I remember them. I really did love those ladies. They were absolutely amazing though. I was Kind of shocked that it was a black comedy that involved Falls Murderer. <sighs> I mean, I'm amazed how they make it, how they made it, made it PG instead of rated R. They did kind of made it, made it clean though. <laughs> and, I mean, I really did like like the part of Denise Richards' tap time when she sang you're just too good to be true but I mostly do like do like Kristen Dunn's Dunn's dance routine of, of her talent <laughs> those were those were the days <laughs> okay here's number three I mean here's number three it's Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Oh my god. I did love Austin Powers, though. This movie was was by far one of the greatest 
comedies of all the 90s. 90s. I really did like the new love interest, Heather, Heather Graham, who plays Pel Felicity Shagwell. And I, and who can, who doesn't love, love the new evil villain, Mini-Me? Oh, I really do love, love him though. He was the best. <laughs> best. I love, I like, like it when they had that time machine, you know. I like it how it spins. Spins. And, and I do Love the part where, oh, oh yeah, this, oh yeah, the sp, oh yeah, the space scene though, where Austin f was fighting Mini Me, <laughs> that was hilarious though. So, <laughs> so, I do like it how they dropped some references to Star Wars. <laughs> Course. If you all saw this movie, you get what I'm saying. And I do love the the songs of the soundtrack for this movie, movie like "Beautiful Stranger" by by Madonna, "American Woman" by Lenny Kravitz. Oh, and let's not forget "Word Up" by by one of my favorite Spice Girls, Mel B. Oh, I didn't know she did did a song song for that movie. Oh. What are the odds? Okay. Here is number two. Two. And really, really was set in one of my favorite countries. The Mummy. <laughs> the Mummy was an absolute big time fun. I really do love Brendan Fraser in this, in this seri series. How it started. Alright. So it had an Indiana Jones five, five and a and a horror and a horror comeback back in the back in the thirties. Thirties. And I do like and I do like the part where oh oh yeah the. Oh yeah, the se Oh yeah, when Evie used the book and the book of Amun Ra to make Imhotep mortal, <laughs> that was a ma amazing one. But I do do like it how how Imhotep used those used used the plagues of Egypt to wreak havoc around around to get his wrath. Sometimes, sometimes it reminds me of the Prince of Egypt back in the day. <laughs> okay. uh, so, yeah. I do believe the mummy is, mummy was by far one of the greatest guilty pleasure movies of all time for me. So, here's number one, and it is an obvious choice, and it is... And it has been 20 years since it came out. Uh, and it started the comeback of a... And it started the comeback of a franchise. Star Wars, Episode One: The Phantom Menace. You know what? To all of you haters out there who, who despise this movie, lay off. We... Because... Because the... I think the hate... Hate should definitely stop. Uh, I do believe Star Wars, Star Wars Episode One was definitely one of the greatest ones ever. That are, I love, I love the cast. I love the see, scenes, scenes, the scenes, the climax, climax, the cinema, the cinematography, and all that jazz. Uh, so, I really like it how it tell. Tells the story of Anakin before he became, well, you know. <laughs> and I really do like how Natalie Portman was both Queen Amidala and Padme. Oh, 
Oh my God, what a big shocker right there. there. But I do love the Battle of Naboo, both in the, both on the planet and in and in space. But who cannot forget the epic battle between Qui Gon, Obi Wan, versus Darth Maul? Oh my God, that was the most epic lightsaber battle of all time. I really do love it. Though, I swear, every time there's a big lightsaber lightsaber scene, I always hear hear that epic epic opera opera music really in the background. You know, the one from that movie? <laughs> I really did love it. It really makes it really makes it so alive. <sighs> so, there you have it. Those are my top five guilty pleasure movies of 1999. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all watch my Guilty Pleasure movies for 2004 and 2009. Bye.